Hello, it's Weekend Handicapper from WeekendHandicapper.com. In this video, we are going to provide picks and analysis for the 2021 Holy Bull Stakes at Gulfstream Park, a, ro a race that is on the road to the Kentucky Derby. Before we get going, though, if you like these videos, if you want to learn how to bet on horses, how to make money betting on horses, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you can get all the latest tips, tools, and resources help you Win money on thoroughbred horse racing. All right, here we go. A derby prep race for these little young horses. We are going a mile and a 16th on the dirt at Goldstream Park. It's race number 11 on Saturday, January 30th. The Holy Bull Stakes, the bull of the woods, if you will. All right, so let's go by each or through each horse one by one. And then at the very end, I'll give you what I think might happen and who to bet. And this year's Holy Bull Stakes. I love this time of year. Love this time of year because you're seeing who's going to be the real deal, who's going to be a contender that goes on to like the Florida Derby and then to the Kentucky Derby. And you see who is it. So it's a very fascinating time of the year to me in horse racing. Number one, Jared Follies is 20 to 1 closer. He's got one race that was at Gulf Park, Gulfstream Park West. I don't even know if that's around anymore. I think they might have raced their last uh, races over there at Gulfstream Park West, which used to be Calder race course back in the day. It won that race, but this time it's stepping up and stretching out, meaning it's going further than it's ever raced. So we'll we'll see how that horse reacts. But it's 20 to 1. It probably should be 20 to 1. So I'll probably pass on that horse. Number two, Willie Boy. As 10 to 1, now it's going to be on the front end. Where the number 1 was a closer, this one should be near or on the front of the the pace. That's a consistent horse, 2 and 0 oh, at Goldstream Park. I'm concerned about that distance with this horse. I don't know if this horse is bred for the distance. I'm not a pedigree expert. I never claim to be. But I don't know if a mile on the 16th is for this horse. But still... At these nice odds of 10 to 1, it might be a worth a horse worth looking at. Number three, Papa 2, another early speed horse, 15 to 1. This, this one, in, in comparison to this field, is a veteran. Dare I say a veteran because it's had more races than most in this race. Needs to be up front, plain and simple. The last time, rain, it ran its best lifetime speed figure, so... Hey, at 15-1, to 1, if you think you can stay on that front end, get a piece of it, that's a nice long shot play. Number three, Papa 2. Number four, Mount. Now, Todd Pletcher has a couple horses in this race. This is one of them, 6-1 to one morning line. Luis Saez on board. Impressive on his debut. No problem with the distance, I don't think. It shouldn't have a problem. Has to make a nice jump up against this field. But who's to say it can't, especially in the... With those connections, that trainer and that jockey. If you like that horse, by all means, bet that horse. Number five, Tarantino, 6-1. to one, Has been off for almost two months. Speed figures are subpar compared to these other horses here. I will leave out, especially at 6-1. to one. I'm a little surprised that this horse is 6-1, to one, the number five Tarantino. I thought it'd be at higher odds. But it's won two of the three races it's um, raced. So there you go. If you're looking for a positive factor on that horse. Speaking of factors, number six, prime factor, the other Todd Pletcher horse. Three to one morning line should be up front on the leading the way around, I would think, or vying for the early lead. Very impressive in debut, no doubt. It's been working out well. I read Ortiz on board. There's so many positives with this horse. I, I hope we get around three to one with this horse. Distance shouldn't be a factor for prime factor. I think it's bred for it. Definitely going to be a factor. All right, enough of them factor puns. But number six is for sure a contender. Number seven is a contender too. Greatest honor. Five to two. Now, prime factors going to be on the front of the pace there. Number seven, greatest honor. Does its best racing closing in. So this look for this one to be flying late down the stretch about a nice speed figure last race and it keeps getting better seems to keep getting better with each and every race which is why it's the morning line favorite at five to two 
Number seven, greatest honor. It's going to be tough. It's all about pace makes the race, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Number eight, sitting on gold. This horse has disappointed me the last couple times out in the Breeders' Cup, Juvenile at the Kentucky Jockey Club at Churchill Downs. I mean, I don't, I was a believer for like that long in this horse. Now I'm going to jump ship. Watch what happens. Let's, <laughs> let's see if this horse uh, bounces back and, and can repeat some of that earlier success in its career. But I'm going to take a stand against number eight sitting on go. I've, I tried to include him in some of my wagers the last couple times and it didn't work out. Would it be three times the charm? Not for me. I'm not going to try it. And number nine, awesome Jerry. Awesome Jerry could be awesome, uh, maybe in this race. Ran its high speed figure last time. Uh, the trainer, Joseph Safi Jr., has been getting it done lately, especially with jockey Tyler Gaffleon, which is they're pairing up again. So they've been having really good success lately. So I wouldn't be mad at you if you used that horse, especially around eight to one. Uh, I think that would be a decent bet. All right, so how am I going to bet? The 2021 Holy Bull Stakes at Gulfstream Park. I think this is an interesting race. Like I say with a lot of these derby prep races, these ra these horses are so young, lightly raced. So you never know who's going to explode and, and take a huge jump up or who's going to just kind of flatten out and maybe repeat some of their past races. So it's, it's just so hard to ha handicap these races. You don't know how they're going to run, what their consistent running style is. Just because a horse ran once or twice, we, it doesn't necessarily, you can label it a certain running style. So even that you're projecting and trying to assume how the horse is going to run, where it likes to be at. So all those factors are very difficult in trying to handicap these lightly raced derby prep races that you all often see this early on in the winter in the in the new year so if you look at it from a pace scenario i think the three the two the six should be up there on the front end trying to trying to wire the field then you got these talented closers the number seven and number eight if they run according to the races that they've ran before closing in on during down the stretch so if you like to play as Zactas, that makes a lot of sense to include those horses. The two, three, six, and the seven and eight in a bunch of different exacta combinations. But when it comes to win bets, I think the number six prime factor is going to be a factor. That's where my money's going to go on as in terms of a win bet. Number six prime factor, trained by Todd Pletcher. I'm also going to have an exacta box. The six, seven, and the three. I'm going to include hopefully Papa two can can try to get out there and get it done in one of these other logical horses the six or the seven greatest honor or prime factor can mix in there with with Papa two a long shot but I also like some other long shots so I'm going to play up what's called an exact apart wheel so number six and seven in the win position so six and seven over the two, three, four, six, seven, nine. So you're going to have Willie Boy in there. Hopefully Willie Boy can, uh, he might not like the distance enough to win it, but maybe he can hold on for at least second. What's his morning now? It's 10 to one. Yeah, absolutely. That'd make a good exacta. So to recap, here's how I'm going to bet the Holy Bull Stakes at Goldstream Park. Race 11, January 30th. Mile and 16th on the dirt. Six, a win bet on the six, prime factor. Zach the box, six. Well, let's put it in numerical order. Three, six, seven, Zach the box. Then have a part wheel. The six, seven over the two, three, four, the other top Fletcher horse, six, seven, nine. That's how I'm going to bet the Holy Bull. And hopefully I won't be throwing down my program my past performance is saying that's a bunch of bull at the outcome of this race when one of these horses that I didn't even think had a shot wins. We'll see. Or noses me out in the exacta, like the number one horse. The giraffe caught me. I think that's what giraffe means in Spanish. It's been a while. 
So that's how I see this year's Holy Bull stake shaping up. The number six for sure, like that number three and seven to be in there in the mix and like those exactive wheels, part wheels that I've mentioned earlier. Who do you like? I would love to hear who you like in this year's Holy Bull Stakes, a, a race that's on the road to the Kentucky Derby. The main thing is just sitting chill, just kind of observing these horses as they progress, as they mature, as they get closer to the Kentucky Derby. Who's the real deal? Who's a contender? It's a beautiful thing. And I look forward to it every year. Who you like? Leave a comment in the comments section below. And until next time, happy handicapping, smart wagering.